Cancel culture. Looks like it has striked again. And this time we're going to talk about Jenna Marbles. She's a famous YouTuber for something. I have no idea what the hell she's famous for. But apparently she is going to be leaving YouTube for a little bit or forever. I, I don't know. Um, she did this 11 minute apology video. And by the way, um, it is the saddest apology video I've ever seen in my life. This girl is fake crying throughout the entire thing. She talks about how she did blackface and she apologized for that and she apologized for slut shaming. And I'm going to try to play both sides. Because the stuff that she is apologizing for, she talks about how she tries to make her videos inclusive and non-offensive. And that's the part that bothers me. Because she doesn't come across as an idiot. So there's no way that she can actually sit there and do a blackface video and then thinking that she's not going to offend anyone. No, I, I don't fucking buy it. And what's worse is that her fucking, her apology video is so fake. In a lot of ways, it kind of shows you exactly who she is. But then I could sit there and take another route and I could be like, you know, listen, those videos were from 2011, 2012. It happened. This was years ago. She's a different person now. She's learned. She's grown. Why are we sitting there checking and digging in this girl's past? You know? Like, why are we doing this for? This whole cancel, this whole fucking cancel culture has just taught me that people have way too much fucking time on their hands. So, I'm kind of divided about this whole Jenna Marble thing. Because I don't think that she should quit YouTube. I don't even think that she shouldn't have did an apology video. Especially that one, because it did not help her case at all. Watch it. Please, watch it. Um, but at the same time, it's one of those things where it's like... Are you just apologizing now because it affects your bottom line? Like, that's what it comes across as. You know, she's apologizing now for some shit that happened years ago because now it may start to affect the bottom line. And then when you watch this video, it just shows you exactly how fake she is. Okay? She's not even crying. She's acting like she's crying. She's talking about how she never meant to offend anyone and that she's a human being. She makes mistakes like everyone else. So it's like, no, you didn't make mistakes. You made bad choices. You made bad choices that you knew were bad choices. You are not dumb. Okay, so I don't, it just, no. This whole thing is fucking stupid. And, you, you know, it's one of those things where it's like, the cancel culture get her? Or does she try to cancel herself so that way she can just save herself from the shit that was going to come towards her anyway? Because that's exactly where we are. I don't know, with this one, it's a, it's a little bit perplexing. You know, because on one hand, I want to defend her. On the other hand, I don't think that she should be canceled, but, like, you did some dumb shit. And the backlash that you're getting, I'm not sitting there saying that you don't deserve it. Because you made a choice. And I don't understand how anyone can actually feel sorry for her. You know, I, I, again, I really think that she should have just owned it and just kept going. Because it was 2011, 2012. She's still been on the air since then. You know? I mean, unless it was a group of people that I don't know about that kept championing every day on YouTube. That kept just writing messages to YouTube and just a group of people that kept trying to get her canceled. Why now? I don't know. I mean, like I said, I, I think it's more just a bottom line thing, you know, than anything else. And she comes across as extremely fake. So, either way, I have no dog in this. It, it just, it is what it is. You know, it's, it is part of cancel culture. That's just how, this is just where we're at at this point. But with her, I don't know. 
I mean, it's cancel culture, but when you really sit down and look at everything, does it really matter with, with this particular incident? Because I don't feel sorry for her. Um, and it is what it is. I don't think that her jumping to another platform, if she thinks that quitting this one and, I don't know, going on Twitch or Storyfire is going to make everything better because it won't. You know, cancel culture doesn't work that way. You know, you don't get to just lie low and think everything's going to be fine because that's that's just not how they play. I don't know. I just, I know I'm late to the party and she did this shit like three days ago and everyone has been reacting like... He got some sort of fucking alert on their phone. Like, oh, Jenna Marbles is getting canceled. Oh, I got to sit and talk about this. But I don't know. It came across my fucking feed. And I was like, you know what? Let's talk about it since this is just where we are at in society. Because, again, everyone has too much fucking time on their hands. 